It's the windmill! So we're down here in this room with a projector again. Because I realized we should ha know how to do these puzzles now. The ones we left long ago. Oh yeah, these are, these are relatively simple. Well, I mean, they could be hard, but... They're things we understand the mechanics of at least, so... It basically just wants, it wants us to just put together four squares. Interesting. I mean, the four corners here. Thinking about this one. So we would basically be outlining them in this fashion. And we're just supposed to create a shape that encases them in that way, or rearranges them in a way that they still work. While also including the uh, squares... First of all, it shouldn't matter if we cut out, cut the black pieces apart from each other, for example. They don't seem to serve any purpose here, really. Because the whole, their whole purpose is just to be separated from the white pieces. So, how do I rearrange these things in a way that makes it drawable? Because I can't, I can't draw a perfect square in the middle to create the frame that they're doing. So, I can't invert them. Because if I put this one over here, for example, it would be these three and wouldn't touch the shape in the first place, which, be, which be, also would be bad. Because that means that we're not uh, creating the correct, the correct shape there. So I'm thinking maybe invert. Let's flip them and, and invert them crossways, for example. Let's see. No, just invert them normally. Like put this one here. So it's these three. Because it touches this one, but is more drawable because it just creates like an outside divot. Like that. I guess it's not necessarily an easier problem, though. Because I can't, I still can't go back around to do this. Well, if we can't do it on, on the sides, I'm sure we can rearrange it so that we can just do those two divots on the bottom and top, right? That's exactly what we're doing. You open individually. That's a surprise. So if you knew either mechanic, you could get through this door. Well, I know both mechanics, so we're still going to solve this one. So two mistakes. Basically. Huh. My first instinct would be, oh yeah, just draw, bloop, oops. Just encase them in this fashion, and there's your two mistakes, no big deal. A little more awkward when you can't go to the left or right to just draw that square around it. So, I imagine we want to draw an outline that has one white piece stuck with the black pieces, with one of the symbols, and then these, and then one black piece stuck with these white pieces, right? Yep. They make me worried when they make the, uh, the negative sound at first. It's like, oh no, you messed it up! Just kidding. We just had to let the, uh, the painkillers kick in. Where does this go? Oh. This door just leads to a place I've been to before, doesn't it? Yeah. Really, it's a shortcut back out to the dock. Well, that was unexpected. I thought I was unlocking- oop. I thought I was unlocking some great secret vault of other puzzles layers in. Or maybe maybe even a secondary theater for playing even more of those tapes. Although to be fair, man, I found I found this this pattern in literally the first episode, and have not found a single one since then. I think. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten about any of them, so. Gonna have to find some more secrets I've been passing up on. Maybe they're not all maybe they're not all in vaults with a piece of paper. Maybe they're much more uh, cleverly hidden around. Maybe they even they maybe they might even match patterns we've seen in the environment or something. I know how to solve you too now. You're something I know. So what am I gonna do with you? So this one needs to be separated from the other ones. Wait. Okay, so how do you make a pattern that has all four of these? So first of all, you can't perfectly. You can't draw- you can't draw them where they are right now, because I can't draw, like, two-by-twos and wrap around myself. So... I'm thinking all four of them need to be stacked on top of each other like this. That would suffice for the pieces, but doesn't satisfy the colors. So I think that would satisfy these things, but not the colors. But this thing's a problem. Which leads to the- which leads to the question of how do I draw this thing separately? I need a way of drawing it so that it separates. Huh. What if we draw this as a four? 
Yeah, draw those two together and then put these two together. Why is that? Oh, right. It's wrong because I didn't separate this white piece from the black piece still. I just found a more complicated way of doing what I was already doing. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. This bottom one we could fold over, right? Like the Z shape from Tetris? Separated. Oh god, it smashed me in the face. Rude. One of these again. Alright. So, f right now we're going with the idea that you have to touch two walls of these things. So, bottom, top. That's correct. Someday we're gonna find out what these things are attached to. Maybe up- maybe that'll be up in the laser place or something? Because we have obelisks that point at all the, uh, environmental shapes, but we don't really have something that tells me what those do yet. Or where- or even a way of keeping track of which ones we've had so far. This thing has to be solvable. Let's see, do these windows close or something? There's a little switch there. I mean, I mean not even a switch, just a panel. They definitely have... hinges. Like they would open and close. But do they have controls? This thing has like a knob on it? Nope. Let's take a look around the building. Alright, so searching that building, I haven't found any sort of... ...dial or knob or switch... ...that would, uh, close those windows yet. But I did walk up on the roof here. And I'm noticing this panel is right next to the, 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 uh, desert laser. Which seems noteworthy, so this thing's probably a mirror we can use. Let's try it out. I think I saw this early on, too, and had no idea what it was for, but now that we have the laser here... Let's see here. Yeah, this will give us something to work with. Wait, did I nail it immediately? <laughs> okay, I think I chose the exact direction I needed to choose. Well, there's a coincidence. Now we're up to one, two, three... That's, they're, they're, they're so bunched up, they're almost hard to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lasers? I wonder if there even are more. I'm still gonna finish exploring the island that I haven't gone to yet before I go up there, but I'm curious. What's your deal, too? Oh, uh, that's- that's- that seems to be a panel I need to turn on by solving a different puzzle. We'll see. Looking at this thing now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is attached to some kind of elevator? Because if we- I, I think we, if we lowered this crate, it would create an orange barrier behind this wall, which in the shadows there might be the right color to finish our pattern. Alternatively, we may be able to draw patterns to this thing if we can get a colored piece of light to look through. Because, like, a colored piece of glass would give us the ability to, uh, change the color of the flowers like we did previously. I never solved this before, did I? Because I hadn't seen the Tetris blocks yet. So that's how we create a bridge. Okay. Just orient them in any way where we'll create a bridge all the way across. Okay. Looks like it would probably have to be centered, more or less. So... They can't be rotated, so one, two... Wait. Huh. So if they can't be rotated, how do we... create a pattern here? Um... Well, we could do... one, two... Oh, we right. It's only five long. So this one's gonna stay where it is already. Because I can't really move them around. You just had to go and cause me problems, huh? Okay. That way, and then... You know, I, I need to plan out the exact pattern in advance because any... I can't draw it while I go, so one, two, three. And then this one here could be attached to this one on the side, going across the middle. So these ones are all gonna be filled in. And then these ones are gonna be filled in. There's just gonna be a hole in the middle here. Okay. That gives me something to work with. I wonder if the two exits do different things. All right. Little progress here in town. What do you do? I know how to solve you. Well, at least I know, I know what you are, at least. Oh, but it's a, it's a multi-directional thing, huh? Oh, it's a mirror. 
That's noteworthy. And easy, in this case. Well, this might be where things get weirder. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening here. Got it. Now there's a black one in the corner. Of course there is. Despite me. Okay, so we can't do that. Are they separated? They're not separated because of the white one in the middle. Huh. Separating them via symmetry puzzles just got a lot harder. Yeah. Let's So let's think about this. The white one has to be in the central pattern no matter what because we can't wrap around it in any capacity in a symmetrical game. So... If I go around these white pieces, is there any way to separate them? No. If I touch... Th Oops. If I touch the wall... Nope, because we're still locking myself in there. This got complicated really quickly, actually. I think it did, anyway. We started off really easy, but it might be tough to separate them. Let's see. Can I... Wiggle through here. I'm thinking it's probably going to involve going crossways. But I don't, still don't know how to make that work necessarily. It's just a thought. Huh? Are we getting there? That looks almost complete. Just go around the... No? Still don't know how to get the black piece to be separated from... And all the white pieces around here. Let's see. Does that work? I think that... Got it. Okay. I was about ready to, to take a break. Not leave or anything, but uh, do that thing where we pause for a while and I just stare at it for because <laughs> I wasn't getting something. They added one tiny detail, which is there's a little... There's a little circle right here, so you have to touch that to win. And I also have to make sense of this chaotic hellscape of a screen. Okay, you're causing me problems there. Trying to separate the white pieces from the black pieces. Still, now we're trapped. Just adding that little divot doesn't save us. How about right here? No, because unless I do this, we're going to not be able to separate those. Oh, I got it. That was a just keep moving and making minor corrections as you go sort of puzzle. Um, Looking at the bottom side, let's try to quarter off those white pieces, but then I'm going to trap myself immediately. And not be able to... Oh, yeah, not be able to finish what we're doing. Unless... I can do this to solve that problem. And go over one to cut off the black... Is it solved already? It's not solved already because I have to touch that one piece over there. I, se I successfully separated them. But other problems arose. Okay. Well, let's look at this, though. So, so I have to touch this. In order to touch this on my exit, I have to be going down into it. That means if I'm going down this way, I probably have to be going up on this side of the pieces. So let's try that. And see if I can make this the rest of this work. Except now I'm trapped again. How do I separate these things, th these things successfully? There must be some method, then, in which... This one ends up coming down that way. So maybe I can... Come on. Is that the solution? Yes, that is the solution. Oh, well, that's important looking. The tower is open. There's a laser on the town. I didn't even... Maybe I did notice that a while ago. I haven't been here very recently. We just opened this door that's halfway up this tower in town. That seems awfully important. I wonder how many more lasers there are. There's still more island over there I haven't explored. Just because I, I, like I like to follow up on solving areas we've already been to first. If I think I can. Hello. We can see a... That, that's got to be a scrape, right? Yeah. So that so this window is how I solve that panel. The problem is I need, to pa I need to power on that panel in the first place. In order to power it on, I need to solve... Hello. There's one down here too. I need to solve this weird uh, windmill looking... 
notched thing, which I'm still thinking is probably a puzzle I haven't found yet, but if not, I'll have to figure it out then. So touch this thing on one side is what we're going by so far. Got it. They are just stashing these everywhere. Okay, so this is a dead end, right? It just led to that door opening, and I don't think I can... I'll check, but I don't think I can actually access the bottom of that door yet. This this uh this town is a really satisfying way to uh, combine all the different mechanics you're learning throughout the game and a few sort of one note mechanics that might not happen anywhere else. Cause yeah, the, the, this little sequence here is that you had to solve this uh, maze by you had to solve it on foot by looking at the grass, then draw, draw it on this panel, then manually create a bridge, and then do the symmetrical segregation puzzles, which is a good mix across the board. A very satisfying area to solve, but you have to do your homework first. <laughs> so this thing opens on the inside, so yeah, I need to open this panel. Let's follow this somewhere. Have I been where this thing goes already? It's good to follow up on what we're doing here. Oh yeah, this thing. This is the weird one where I, last time I looked at it, I just didn't see any clues in the environment on how to solve it. So, previously, when we had a window like this, a panel like this, we looked at it through some window. There's not a lot of windows around here. Is there a way to open this door? Let's see if looking at it through this window somehow gives me insight. Oh, hey. Opening this door should solve the problem. So, you. We know what you do now. Everything has to be in pairs of two. Wait, that's a purple. Why is there a purple? Am I supposed to look am I supposed to look at these as being a certain color too? Is there any sort of colored lens around here? Oh jeez. This is a yellow room. Holy crap, we've learned a lot of mechanics since the last time I tried to press forward in the town, didn't didn't we? This is satisfying. So I need to solve this first because then I can get the yellow glass. Maybe? Oh yeah, when I open this, it'll tr it'll swing outward and I can look through this door at that one to see what color stuff is in yellow light. I could also, br like, brute force, like, sit there and figure it out myself, but we, we could just solve this one instead. <laughs> so these are gonna be a bunch of, uh... A bunch, a bunch of little L shapes. So this, if I took these two combined and rotated one of them, it'd be these three and this three. So they'd be, they create, oh, and that's not gonna work. I was going to say, let's create just a bunch of pillars, but that's not going to work because this one's shaped weird. So we need to create a pattern of segregating these things out. Two at a time, for example. What if I just try, try drawing L's on them? That'll be hard to do. Let's see. It's like that right there is not going to work. <laughs> I was thinking, oh yeah, I got three L's here, but yeah, this thing I drew in a way so it separates out. So no, we, we want to start out like this. That's one L. That's immediately a problem. Let's take six here. That's currently three L's attached right there. Is what we have. Okay. So is there a way to attach two more L's to the end? Yeah, how am I going to draw a series of L's that attaches to all of them? Actually, I don't have to attach to all of them. I could leave two of them out. That's equally valid. In fact, I, you kind of have to leave some of them out because they have to be in even L shapes. But the problem is my current shape uses three L's and I haven't actually found a way... Uh, I haven't actually included th uh, three L's uh, origin points into the pattern. So let's think about this differently then. Let's not start from the bottom like that. Let's try to make a pyramid. If I can make a shape that incorporates all of these and touches this and this, then we're good. Because it would it would inherently be cutting off these guys from the sides. So right off the bat, I'm thinking of how to incorporate these. I can't do L shapes that are shaped like this and this, because this middle part, we don't have a long piece. An, a long L or a 4x1 four, a four to actually include that, so we can't touch the bottom there. So the, the, if we're going to incorporate these sides, we probably want to have two L's that are shaped like this. 
and like this. It's so like that, for example. But we need to add the extra bit here. It's like so we'll have this at first because we need to insert one of the L's into the centerpiece. That's three L's so far. Now we'll add one more. That doesn't work because we get stuck. So rotate the other way around. There we go. That's one, two, three, four L's already incorporated into the puzzle. And now I've trapped myself. Okay, so this this isn't quite the right uh, solution yet. Because... Um, right now I can't put an L in without incorporating too many purples, so... What if we slide you over one more? What if I make you this shape, actually? One, two, three, four L's included. And now I can slip in one more L. Shit. <laughs> oh no, where was I? Uh, here, right? And then slip in one more L. Oh, oh, wow, mouse problems all of a sudden. I'm so always surprised by how much trouble I have navigating the uh, cube, the uh, the grid. That's, uh, alright, so that's a, that's a 2 by 3 of L's on the left, so that's 2 L's on the top left, 1 on the top right, and then 2 down, yeah, that's it. Got it. There we go. So for reference, uh, white and yellow are the same, and the, and purple and, uh, red are the same. That gives us something to start with. So that means these can all be in one square together. Because they're all the same. But I've created a problem that I can't separate this other side right now, huh? Huh. Let's think about this. So in order to separate all of the white pieces from each other, we have to go like this. Basically. So it's probably going to be the last part of the puzzle for me. Instead, let's focus on... See, this will separate two of the reds. And I can't get down to separate the blue and the black. Okay, so, let's look at this here. Look, this, this is all one color. So to satisfy this part, we absolutely have to go right here. This is all one color. So to satisfy that part, we absolutely have to go right here. Either one way, or, in one direction or the other. So I have to go like this... And like this. This satisfies the white pieces and the... No, it doesn't. It doesn't satisfy the white pieces because the uh, the two outliers are still attached. So ideally we'd do something a little bit more like... The... No? Those are not going to be easy to separate, are they? But then we also have to separate the purples themselves, which is not the easiest task in, them in, in itself. Alright. This one's going to take a little while. Can I solve it from back here? No, I'm not allowed to do it back here. That's too bad, because it's so much easier from this perspective. So I'm thinking we do it in a... I, I was trying to break them off in even chunks, and and that when that's not working, that usually means I have to break them off into individual pieces. So I'm thinking... We cut off these two in the corner down here, separately. So I go, like, up here, probably. But then, for our next layer... we get, What I'm thinking is that, uh... To cut off these two white pieces and these black and red pieces, I could potentially go crossways through here. That separates enough reds. Not quite. In order to make that work, I'd have to separate them this, like these two and these two have to be separated. So, I could go... Huh. Let's, I'm having there's a lot to hold in my head at once on this one. <laughs> All right, let's try let's try a different store, form of uh, cutting the white pieces together. Then, so we could go this pattern that bisects them and still allows me to go through this way. It's the only it's one of the only ways I can think of to get through all the white pieces in a way that doesn't trap me in a way that where I can't cut them off. Like this way, they're in three sets of th of two. Now I just need to separate. Let's see, the blues and blacks are separated, which is good. We just need to finish separating the reds, and I think that's it? There we go. 
All right. And I only had to draw two diagrams. Well, I, I messed up the first time. So... Is this what I'm supposed to look at? No, that's not. Huh. Is there some sort of broken slats around here? So this door's open. What did I gain by opening said door, is the question. <laughs> I'm not sure if I know. We found an alternate way into this building. Did I have to open the other way in too? No, the other way was just a broken... Was just broken, so that didn't help. Okay, let's head upstairs. Is there a perspective I can get? No, you can't see crap from here. There's that audio diary that I walked past the first time. Huh. What is going on here? Well, I may not know what's going on in there, but I could always come back out here and just keep going through this building and maybe that'll, that'll reveal something for me. This is that chamber I think I want to lower. Oh, it's a whole color chamber. That's terrifying. So many pr <laughs> I might be doing some homework today. All right. Go down. I think that's the, I think that's the only option actually. The wire, yep, wire goes downstairs. Okay. Let's see if there's a way to lower this thing. Whoa! Sound dampening! That is ex that's a, some excessive sound dampening. If that door closed, no one would ever be able to hear me scream. That's terrifying. Not that anyone's here in the first place. Oh, you're new. You're a new one. But I think you- are you just me pressing all these buttons? Do I just have to touch all of these? Got it? Is that all I had to do? That did not lower it though. What is this thing's deal? Ooh, they're all different sizes, aren't they? Do I have to touch them in the right order? Does solving one unsolve the other one? Do you wibble wobble back and forth? Do you say... Trace the bottom? Huh. Well, this nightmare chamber might be something I come back to. We'll see if this mechanic shows up later or not. If there's a, if there's a learning thing, or if it's something I'm supposed to just figure out right there and then. But I'll definitely come back to it, because we're finishing everything. But yeah, we made some progress. What is this thing's deal? It's really strange. There's no shadows? I don't see a maze in the shadows. Last time we saw one of these things, I looked at a... I looked at it through a window. And that doesn't seem to be the case this time. And I don't think... That's 3x3, three three, that's 4x4, four four, so it's not like I translate that directly onto it. Alright, we'll, we'll come back later, we'll see if we can find a better clue. Or if another part of the island just teaches me better how to contextualize what I'm seeing. So something struck me as a little odd, which is that... Here's the beginning of the game. And... I realized I came out of that capsule, or whatever it was. I never actually went back in. So why don't we take a look in here? while facing the other direction. So this is where we started. That's where they first taught me how to draw a line to get out of a chamber. I guess that was it. Hey! Can line you up, probably. Wow. They even went as far as to hide one here. The first place you ever stand. Does this end somewhere? Alright, getting a little uncomfortable. Does it, do I keep going further? Nope. So here's the beginning of the game. They even hit a secret here. Alright. It almost looks like if you close the door, that it might be another one, too. Can, can I even close the door? I don't think I can. Wow, they, they even hit one here. Because of course they did. Of course they did. 